friends, welcome back to my channel. I know I have a lot of jewelry lovers on this channel, so thank you for being here. And I know a lot of you suggested that I should um, do some videos like how to start your collection and so forth. I will be filming one of those right after this. So because of that, I wanted to go ahead and complete showing you my collection. I've shown you almost everything in detail except for my necklaces. So today I am going to be showing you my necklace collection, which consists of four different pieces ranging from, you know, like everyday to like statement. So I'm going to take you through my necklaces in just a moment. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jody Mosley. I talk about luxury products, my sister locks journey, and uh, lots of jewelry on here. So if you're into that, definitely hit the subscribe uh, button and help my channel to grow. Just support the movement. A lot of you do love my content, I know, and you come back and you watch video after video after video and you haven't hit the thumbs up or subscribed. So please, this is a lot of work and I enjoy doing it, but please let's keep the momentum going and support my channel with your subscription. It is free. Alright guys, let's get into the goodies. Oh, by the way, today I'm wearing ASOS, and if I ever forget to mention what I am wearing, it will be in the description box. And my rule of thumb is I pair my chic steels, which is basically very affordable clothing, with my more high-end stuff, like the jewelry I am about to show you. So this is an ASOS dress. It is a backless dress. And I want to say I paid about $35 for this one last year. The shoes, if you can see them are by Carl Lagerfield. I won't get into it because I'm bringing you a boots video in a couple weeks or so. Necklace number one. So, necklace number one is my Cartier Love necklace. Let me get closer and show it to you. So this is my Cartier Love necklace. I absolutely love it. It is 18 karat gold. Uh, let me grab my notes real quick. It's 18 karat gold. I've had it for, is it two years? It's one of the first pieces that I got. Um, it is currently retailing for $33.50. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that much at the time. These things do go up in price almost every single year. So what I love about this, it is a great everyday piece. I can dress it up, dress it down. It is a piece that I will take a shower in and do very basic everyday activities like go to Costco, you know. It is that kind of piece that just elevates your look very effortlessly and without you thinking about it and very, very timeless, very beautiful. And then I have the Cartier Love Bracelet, which I've done another video on. So these two pieces together, I always feel like I'm put together. I have a little something going on and just very, very great for everyday wear. So let's move on to necklace number two. So necklace number two is from Ipolita. Ipolita is a female Italian jewelry designer. I purchased my Ipolita pieces from Neiman Marcus. So Ipolita makes super pretty, very kind of chic jewelry. She also has some statement pieces as well. This particular necklace is from her Stardust collection. This is a small Stardust. There is also a medium size. This is the 18 karat gold. It is also available in, um, I think she calls it gray. It's a kind of silver. And also, I've seen it in rose gold too. So it comes in different metals. I really like it as an everyday piece as well. Um, but I also dress it up and I will show you how. Let me go ahead and try it on for you. Oh, cool thing to note, this necklace comes with a um, clamshell closure. However, at the time of buying it, this is how it closed, right? It had the link on the very end, but because of how I like to wear it, I asked them to put in another little loop here so that I can get a shorter closure or I can wear it at its full length. At its full length, I think it's 14 inches, so it's not very long. 
at its full length my Cartier love necklace is 16 inches you can also get the option of an 18 inch and then get another little link put in so that you can make it shorter or longer as you please all right so here she is i know the high neck of this is making it a little difficult sorry about that but sometimes when i wear it what will happen is the Ipolita Stardust will fall right into the little circle of the Cartier and I love that look. So I'll wear them together. Plus they're bo both very nice everyday pieces that I can just run around in. Okay guys, so those are my two everyday necklaces that you will see me in majority of the time. Let's move on to my more statement pieces. And even though I'm saying statement, I'm not the kind of person to reserve jewelry for special occasions. I do wear my stuff as I please. So I just mean that they're a little bit more, you'll get to see it. <laughs> Necklace number three. All right, so this is necklace number three. It is also from Ipolita, also from the Stardust collection. It actually goes with this little one. I got them purchased at the same time because I really love the layered look. Now this one comes with either an 18 inch or a 20 inch drop. So I really love this necklace because I like to wear things with an open neckline and when I do I like to have something a little bold right there. It just looks really really fabulous, upgrades the look and just draws attention to that area, shows off, you know, your shoulder and traps, whatever. So I really, really love this necklace for that reason. And I love the versatility of how I can wear it. That was very important. So right now it's at the shortest drop and it's layered with this other little necklace. But let me show you how it really comes so that you can get an idea. All right guys, so if I didn't shorten the necklace and I wore it at its full length, this is where it falls. So it's like right below my breast, this is where it drops. So it looks good over clothing the way I have it now. It also looks great with something that has an open neckline. This is super deep though. I mean, I do have a couple things that go that far down that are open. But um, just love the versatility of this piece and the way it sparkles. It is 6.04 carats in diamonds, so it does have a lot of diamonds in there. It is kind of an oval shape, and it's just big and beautiful and gorgeous, but still looks like really classy and nice, which is what I love about it. It's bold without being loud. You know, like the sparkle just kind of speaks for itself, and I just love the way it shimmers. So let's move on to... My gosh, <laughs> necklace number four. You guys have seen it a couple times and it is from Tiffany & Co. And let's just take her out. Okay, so here we have necklace number four. It is from the Tiffany and Company circlet collection. Circlet really refers to the design of the piece where you have the circles on here. Mine is the 40 inch necklace. You will not see it in the stores. It's more of a rare piece. I think there are only three of these out there and I've seen, I think it was Mary J. Blige wearing one. You'll notice that each of the circles has one larger diamond in the center and then it is surrounded by 10 brilliant diamonds going around in a circle. So let's try her on. So it can go over your neck just like this. Now what I love about this piece, well first, it is 40 inches long. It has 25 carats of diamonds. I don't remember how many individual diamonds make it up, but a lot, guys. This is a super rare, super bold piece. I love that even though it is such a bold piece and it is such a valuable piece, that it still looks very sleek and very chic and it doesn't look, you know, like over the top. Like the diamonds and the sparkles speak for themselves and what's, that's what I really love about it. It does come with this little clip that allows for versatility and in how it can be worn. So let me just show you a couple different ways that you can rock this. 
So one of my favorite ways is just to put it to the back and let it be like a complement to a backless piece. So this is one way it can be worn. You can see I have the little clasp right here. I've created kind of a choker and then I have this longer drop. So another way to wear this is as a double line necklace. I've clipped it in the back with the clasp. And what that does is it will drop like this and you get two rows of fabulous diamonds and it's just so beautiful. All right friends, so those were my four necklaces. I do have some new things coming. So make sure you subscribe and look out for what I add to my collection. I'm also going to share my wish list with you. So lots of cool things. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the description box what you're thinking, what you liked the most. And until next time, see you in another video. Always a pleasure hanging out with you guys.